In this video, we're going to determine solutions for basic inequalities using a Delta Math program. So we're going to go to the basic algebraic inequalities level one. So here's our problem, gives us a number line. So select the values that make the inequality W is greater than six true. So if you think about the number line, um, six is our dividing point. It's going to be an open point at six because six is not included in the solution. And then does the ray go right or left uh, from, from there? Well, what, we want W to be greater than six. So which values are greater than six? That's right, everything going to the right, okay? So then, in delta math, we wanna find that dividing point six. Here's the six, all right? Are we gonna select six as one of the solutions? No, because six, it would be equal to six. It's not greater than six. So we wanna pick numbers that are larger, and if you notice, delta math is set up, uh, it goes from the smallest number and gets larger as you go left to right and as you go down. So from six, we pick 6.001, 6.01, 6.1, 7.9, 14. Submit our answer. Yep. And boom, we got it. Let's look at level two. Pull up level two. Now it gives us a negative variable. So negative S is less than or equal to six. So what we have to do here is we have to multiply both sides by negative one or divide both sides by negative one um, in order to get positive S. But when we do that, remember the sign flips when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. So what we're gonna do here at Delta Math wants us to rewrite the inequality. So it's gonna become S is now greater than or equal. See how the sign flipped? And then don't forget you took six and you multiply it by negative one or you divide it by negative one, and either way, you get negative six. All right, so now S is greater than or equal to negative six. So if I was gonna use the number line for this, I would go to negative six on the number line, and I'd make a solid dot because negative six is included in the solution. That's when they're equal, right? Negative six equals negative six. And then which ways is the numbers getting larger? Greater than or equal to, it's going to be going to the, the right. So those are all the numbers that are the solutions here. So in delta math, again, we find the dividing point, which is negative 6. So where's negative 6? Here's negative 6. In this case, we are going to select negative 6 because that is true. Negative 6 equals negative 6. And then I want numbers getting larger. So negative 5.9, negative 5 is larger, negative 1, 0, 1. 5, 5.9, 6, and so on. Again, delta math sets this up uh, going from the smallest number to the largest number. So it's really easy once you find the dividing point how to pick the other numbers. Oops, almost forgot one. All right, make sure we got it. Submit the answer. Yep. And boom, we got it correct. Let's look at one more example. Let's go to level three. All right, so level three, you may need to write this down on a piece of paper here. So let's do the work. So first thing I have to do is we got to solve for W. We want positive one W. So what we're going to do here is I would divide both sides by negative seven, right? We're going to divide by negative seven. All right, so that gives us positive W. Now we divide it by a negative, so we have to flip the sign. So the sign now becomes less than, and then negative 63 divided by negative seven is positive nine. So now in delta math, we're gonna write this down here. So it's gonna be W is less than positive nine. All right, so now think about that number line. Um, w is less than nine means all numbers less than nine, not including nine. So the dividing point is the nine, but I'm not gonna select it because that would not be true. Nine is not less than nine, nine is equal to nine, right? So what numbers would work? How about eight, is eight less than nine? Yep, six, six is less than nine, four is less than nine, and negative one is less than nine. All right, submit our answer. Yep, we're good, and we got it. I hope that helped uh, determine solutions for basic inequalities in delta math. If you have any other questions, ask me in the classroom. Thank you.